Hi, you are welcome to my technology and innovation lab. To briefly introduce myself, my name is Daniel Mate. I'm a web-centric applications developer, a network specialist, technology and innovation specialist, and an automated software tester. I will quickly take you through some of the high-tech equipment I have on this network and then tell you exactly what I can do to work with you to make your business a prosperous business, find business solutions, or develop new business concepts. So I have this uh, Acer laptop, uh, uh, this Lenovo laptop, Acer desktop, Motorola camera, Foscam IP camera, Netgear switch, Billionaire failover 4G router, Acer laptop, which is an, an old laptop still running Windows 7, Panasonic 55 inch smart TV, which is connected to um, the network through uh, uh, an Android TV box, and then Cricut Explorer, it's a beautiful barcode scanner, Samsung tablet. And then Samsung cell phone. So, so I will start by first connecting the force cam security camera. Now, this force cam security camera is such a brilliant tool. It's a network intranet camera. It fits on the network through a network cable. It, can, it also has a wireless port, so you can connect it through wireless. But I will not advise security companies like banks to use the wireless system. But it's a PoE and then it fits on the network through the network cable. Now, this means it's a single node on the network and any machine here that has access to the network can access it. So I will quickly stream from the TV, the, um, the laptop, the desktop and then the tablet and cell phone so that we see how the integrated network system in fact I didn't mention I'm running an integrated network work group here it's a new network system high tech very very brilliant facility um, what it means is cable network and wireless network working together usually when cable and wireless network working together is to allow cell phones and stuff to browse but this goes a bit beyond that into allowing the cell phones and the tablets to be part of the network share data on the network pick up files on the network just like any other computer and that is what makes this new way of networking a brilliant facility so i will quickly connect the camera and stream across board for you to see how the integrated network system works. Now I am doing it from scratch so that it doesn't come across like I didn't show exactly what was happening. So you can actually see exactly what is happening.
Okay, so the same thing is displaying on the tablet, is displaying on the cell phone, and then it's displaying on the TV. I'm also showing it on the on the desktop. In fact, we can show it on the laptop too. So that's the same thing you are seeing on the TV, you are seeing on the tablet, you are seeing on the uh, desktop, and then you are seeing on the laptop. The laptop. If I should move it, because this camera is robotic, so you can actually move it. The same thing is happening on all the platforms. This is what makes this camera such a brilliant tool. So now that we have actually displayed how the camera works and what the multi-technology multi platform means, which is like displaying the same or streaming on all platforms, um, I would quickly close this and then show you how we can also access data just like we, are, we were able to stream the cameras. We can also access data from the legacy system. The reason why I put this on the network is to show that uh, companies that have legacy systems like old systems they don't need to throw away the computers they can just add them to the network and it will work fine it will be part of the new integrated network if it's well designed or well organized you don't need to throw away the old systems it will work perfect so i will quickly close this What I did is, this is EBS Client 1, it's on the network and I used the Android uh, TV box to access data straight from this machine as if, it's, as if it's a computer. So this tablet will also access the same data. So the tablet is also showing the same data, just to show you that uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's doable. And then it would access the same data on the network here. Network. Client one, it is web, cameras. So the same thing. Various platforms. This is this is what makes the new integrated network system such a brilliant network system. Different platforms all connected to the network, sharing data, access to data, free uh, concurrent access to data, easy without a problem. And you don't even need to worry. It's even if it's your cell phone
it's just the same Android system. I'm finding it difficult going through the so I'll cut it off. So So now I since I have shown how we can easily access files on the network <coughs> through Android devices and both the computers which that file that I shared is this That's the same file that I shared and that's what we, I shared on the network for everybody to see. So now that I have uh, actually been able to display what is going on with the camera and uh, how to concurrently access data on the network, I'm also going to show a few programming languages that I use here so that uh, you know exactly what you are dealing with now what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to connect to the TV I'm using a very brilliant technology here called Anycast and with Anycast I would I can connect any of the facilities here to the TV directly and it will pick the TV screen so that what I am doing here you will see it on the screen So I am going to demonstrate a Selenium program I just did for this presentation, a small program I wrote for this presentation. It will go to the Indeed site and then uh, type or find jobs uh, that uh, are specific to my areas or what, I, how, uh, what technologies I work with. So it will quickly open the Google Chrome browser, maximize the browser, go to the Indeed site, use send keys to type into the what page and the on click function to click on the find, find button. Same keys to type in the word field. So it's, going, so it's maximized. It's type Java programmer, then on click function to click. Then it moves back. Use same keys again to type. I use the sleep timer to delay it a bit so that you can see it actually working live as if. Because otherwise it will move very quickly and you will not see exactly what, what is happening. But the sleep timer makes it wait a bit and it's in milliseconds so I use that to delay the time of uh, action a bit so that it will give you the opportunity of seeing exactly what is going on. So that's, that's this. Now that uh, We've seen the Selenium work. It's gone through several pages and it's displayed or typed exactly what
Okay, so I also want to use the opportunity to showcase um, uh, just a few codes I typed in uh, SQL Server to show that uh, I know how to work with the back end uh, programming languages and the back end servers too. So I have uh, created a small database where I put in a few things uh, for, for, for just as testing purposes. For our testing purposes, so I would. This is a select statement I just did to show that I understand exactly what is going on when it comes to SQL Server. So it just displayed, and it's based on calculations, so it displays a few things. And then there are other scripts too. This, this script has the alias function so that it beautifies the codes and everything. From, I mean, anything SQL Server, I also program for SharePoint and uh, JavaScript, which is uh, for the internet, Visual Basic, which is for front ends, and I program this for shops using Visual Basic or VBA that's Visual Basic for applications so just in case if you have a small shop or retail shop you want to this can take inventory it can also be a sales point because of uh, the programming it can be a sales point that will allow you to sell your products uh, like at the counter so that's that's that now I'll quickly move to what I can do for you. From writing programs on the internet to writing desktop applications, writing tablet applications, and then writing server, central data warehousing server applications on the SQL server, I can help you with all of that. I also print, I also print designer clothing like this custom made not only custom made but also for uh, programs and services uh, promotional programs and uh, uh, services around or coming up with a brand that you want to show we print that too and we print on caps marks and glass plates anything so aside developing softwares building network like integrated network system i can configure a setup domain active directory install the exchange server uh, configure uh, the exchange server for for mail sending mails or emailing back and forth configure the edge server NAS server, any server you want i can also help you when you have a new company you want to set up, you don't know what computers to buy, what equipments to buy, when you come to or you talk to me, I can help you with that. Also, if you want a new technology in the company, something that would make more profit at minimum cost, when you talk to me, I'll test the technology and then introduce you to that once I am done. Before you would use the, yeah, the technology life. So I sort of showed you from buying or using technology that would destroy your network. So I will end by saying thank you for joining me on this presentation. This is something that I just printed because we print frames like this too. We print religious frames, continental frames. We print in gold, silver and copper. So thank you very much for being part of this presentation and hope to see you soon on my next video.